<laughs> she seems to have taken a liking to you, Highness. You should be proud. Topaz is notorious for disliking everyone. She's bitten quite a few people who dared to get close to her. Do you know how to ride? Mm, I'm sure. It would be expected of you. Come, sit down. You should eat. It's not poisoned, Highness. If I wanted to kill you, I would have done so already. Besides, you're hungry, aren't you? You need to keep up your strength. I told you, you're my ticket to a hefty ransom. Not to mention revenge. If you died before I achieved that, then I'd have wasted my time. Hmm? Ah, no, no, no. As much as I'm sure, I would love walking down memory lane with you, Highness. I'm sure I've told you that person you know is dead. No point in begging the dead now, is there? <laughs> that glare. Tell me, does it work on your enemies? Do they crumple before it? I'm quite serious. Inquiring minds want to know. Careful with your words, Highness. They could very well be your last. Ah, no. I would never dare threaten the presumptive heir. I simply want you to mind your manners. We will be travelling together for a while, after all. <laughs> oh, I have no doubt. By now I'm sure word has gotten out and knights have been dispatched to find you. Too bad I'm smarter than all of them combined. <laughs> Cocky? No, Highness. I'm quite humble. I'm just good at what I do. Is it a crime to state such facts? Come here. Do it, now. Speak a word, and I'll slit your throat. Evening to you, Constable. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid you've stumbled onto a romantic night away from prying eyes. My sweetheart's family still hasn't given their consent for me to court them. <laughs> you speak to the truth of the matter. I am a mere mortal, after all. <laughs> I cannot resist such a glorious temptation. Isn't that right, love? Hmm? Oh, of course, sir. I appreciate you looking the other way. Here, for your trouble. <laughs> and to you as well, Constable. <clears throat> oh, what, Highness? Were my lips too rough for such delicate skin as yours? <laughs> Fine. Be upset by the principle of the matter. It doesn't change anything. <laughs> What? You thought a kiss meant something? <laughs> Highness, one kiss is nothing to a woman like me. But it's adorable you thought otherwise. Truly. <laughs> Mock your pain. And what of mine, huh? What of what I've suffered at the hands of people like you? 
I thought so, Highness. You better rest while you can. We'll be leaving before dawn breaks. Here. It's a blanket, Highness. Surely you have those in your cushy castle. Good. I'll take watch. You'll sleep in the tent there. Ah, oh, spare me the modesty, Highness. If I wanted to have my wicked way with you, don't you think I would have done it by now? Besides, you're not my type. Yeah, rich and spoiled doesn't do it for me. Go figure. Relax, Highness. I meant it when I said you'd be safe, as long as you followed my rules. So, take the blanket and go rest. We have a lot of travelling to do tomorrow. <laughs> sure, but where would you run to? Do you even know where we are right now? Exactly. Good night, Highness. Hmm? Yes, you're right. You know your constellations? <laughs> Funny. I wouldn't consider that necessary for you. Oh, come off it, Highness. You're a spoiled heir. Your only job is to marry rich and not be a tyrant. Simple enough to do without knowing constellations. What? <laughs> really? You wanted to study that? Why? Sailing? You want to be on the sea? <laughs> As what, pray tell? A pirate? <laughs> no, I'm just picturing it. <laughs> you, on the open seas, armed with a sword and a black flag? <laughs> it's an interesting picture. Ah, uh, no, I suppose you wouldn't be allowed to do that, would you? Highness, my apologies. I misspoke earlier. Of course. Sleep well. Why the devil did I apologize to them? Come on, keep focused. This is a job, one like any other. Just do the job.